Hi, I'm Julianne Cost. In the next few minutes, we're going to talk about how we can crop and straighten our images in Lightroom Classic. Now to select the crop tool, we can click on the crop icon, or we can tap the R key. In fact, from any of the different modules, I can tap the R key and Lightroom Classic will automatically take me to the develop module and select the crop tool. Now by default, the crop tool is locked which means it's going to constrain the aspect ratio of the original image. When we first use the crop on an image, we can click and drag anywhere within the image. And then once we release our cursor, we can then use any of the different handles in order to resize the crop. Now, if I drag this corner handle far enough, we can see that Lightroom Classic will automatically flip the aspect ratio. We can also tap the X key at any time in order to change the orientation of the crop aspect ratio. Now to reposition the crop, we can simply click and drag anywhere within the frame. In order to apply the crop, we can choose close or tap the return or enter key. Now the image isn't really cropped. If I select the crop tool again, we can see that the area outside of the crop was simply hidden. We can always change the crop at any time because everything is non-destructive in Lightroom Classic. All right, to reset the crop, we can choose Reset. And if I hold down the Option key on Mac or the Alt key on Windows and drag from a corner point, then we can crop from the center of the image. If I want to unlock the aspect ratio, I can click on the lock icon or tap the A key now we can drag this crop marquee to be any size that we want. To select a different aspect ratio, we can choose from any of the presets or we can enter in our own custom aspect ratio. I'm gonna enter in 16 by seven. And after entering it in, we see that the crop marquee has changed and that aspect ratio has been added to the menu. All right, let's reset the crop again. We could choose reset, or I can use the keyboard shortcut Command Option Shift R on Mac, or Control Alt Shift R on Windows. And the nice thing about that shortcut is that it will reset the crop without having to be in the crop tool. So for example, if I cropped it, went over to edit some other settings and wanted to reset the crop, I can use that shortcut. All right, I'll tap R again to select the crop tool. And to aid with cropping, Lightroom Classic has a number of crop tool overlays. Now we can either select to see these overlays always, auto or never. Auto has the option of not showing the crop overlay in the window until you have your mouse down. Then it displays the overlay. And when I release the cursor, it will hide it again. This is the same option as going to the Tools menu, Tool Overlay, and then choosing Auto Show, Always Show, or Never Show. I'll change it back to Always Show for a moment, return to the Tools menu, and then select Crop Guide Overlay. We can choose from several different options, or we can tap the O key to cycle through them. I'll choose Thirds, then tap O, in order to view the different options. If I want to change the orientation, I can add the shift key and then tap O. If you don't want to cycle through all of the different overlays, you can select tools, crop guide overlay, and then choose the overlays to cycle. Now in order to visualize how an image might be cropped when a specific aspect ratio or several aspect ratios are needed, I'll return to Tools and then Crop Guide Overlay, and that's when we can use the aspect ratios. I'll select Choose Aspect Ratios, and then check the aspect ratios that I want to see. This can be really helpful when showing a client how their photo might look, for example, when cropped to different aspect ratios. All right, let's tap the O key again until we return to the rule of thirds. Then I'll select this image that has a crooked horizon and choose the angle tool. Now I can click and drag along my image in order to straighten the horizon. 
you can also use the angle tool to draw a vertical line. Or if we position our cursor outside of the crop marquee and we see the double headed arrows, now I can simply drag in order to change the angle of my image. I can also use the slider as well as enter in a specific value. And to reset the angle, I can either double click on the word angle or double click on the tick mark. Now, if I have the crop tool selected and I don't want to select the angle tool, but I want to use it, I can hold down the command key on Mac, control key on Windows, and then click and drag. All right, I'll tap enter in order to apply that. And it's important to note that cropping in Lightroom Classic only commits to a specific aspect ratio. The image size, the width, height, and resolution is going to be determined when you're exporting or using any of the output modules. I'm Julianne Cost. Thanks for watching.